some reason, we very rarely as humans escape the first thing we ever did, right? We don't look at ourselves to have any leverage. In fact, we're just kind of like, I have this crazy idea. I need money. You're the person with all the leverage. Can you help me? And, you know, I see this all the time. Even start founders who have done two or three or four, they, they very rarely realize that they're the whole piece that they need to start understanding how much leverage they actually have. And I don't know if it's an ego thing, or I don't know if it's just like a, it's almost one of these things when you're, once you're a founder and you, you have no money, you know, you're very cognizant of every single penny and very mm-hmm. few founders ever let that go. It like sticks with them for the rest of their life where like they won't use the dishwasher type of, and you're like, what are you doing? Like, you don't need, we're past this. Leverage is similar. I've seen it a lot where they don't understand the leverage they have. And, you know, I don't know how to unpack that, but I see it a lot. And it's unfortunate because I'm like, no, you're the talent. Like you're everything. You're the whole thing here. And people want to get on board with you. Yeah, that's exactly kind of what I want to keep digging at and unpack. Yeah. The, the way I've been thinking about it is it like we, we all start as flatlanders, you know, we're all just like standing on equal ground. Yeah. And if you if you imagine like a leverage mountain, and so like you get a little bump of a few levers, and then it gets higher, and then it gets higher. And so you have like, you know, people like Jeff Bezos are standing on just like a giant mountain of levers. And mm-hmm. there's different types of levers like capital, and labor, and uh, and product and tools and all of those, there's like the four different faces of the, of the mountain. And I, I think kind of what you're saying where people get stuck is, is they have like, they focus on one or where they right. have some talent or some awareness and there's usually a bottleneck in some other. And so they like, they, they're like, Oh, I can't get money. And so I can't get this tool and this tool would get me this product and the product would unlock everything. And they're focused on the product and not thinking about how they can maybe use like labor to get them money to get them tools to get and so like the interplay of all of those things so that they grow together evenly um is a really interesting kind of way to think about the different types of leverage available and how people can inventory the leverage that they have going for them or not and look for different bottlenecks in different places and look for trade-offs in different places so that they can keep their energy focused on you know, eventually the game just becomes building and applying more leverage. And and that is those people are playing a different game than the people who are just trying to work the things in front of them. It's a very, or it's, so a, it's a lens that I'm kind of building over the world to try to explain more and more of this. I love that. I remember when I first got into real estate development, I had no business being in real estate development in the traditional sense. I mean, I'd never done it before. It wasn't like I had a track record. And basically the first step into doing this, I just sat down and I wrote down who I was. I was like, okay, what have I done before? what are my levers is really what the exercise I was doing. Mm -hmm. Right. And I wrote down everything. Like, I'm like, I'm Latino. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that's a lever. Right. And I think all of these little things are actually levers, frankly. Like if you're tall, maybe that's a lever for whatever you like. There are levers that are just intrinsic to to you and who Mm -hmm. you are and and your charisma. But, but the, the, the thing that I did was I was like, okay, I have from a product at me as a product. Like if you wanted to give me money, you'd have no reason to do that. There's no track record. There's nothing. Right. And so I said, okay, because I'm zero, like I, like I just rank these things. Like, so my product lever, let's call it was zero out of 10. However, I had done some things that people would admire. And so me as a human was maybe like, a, let's call it a five out of 10. So I said like, okay, that's some leverage, but the ultimate leverage is how I package this real estate deal. And because I'm a five and I have no reputation, I have this product has to be a 10. It has, right. Mm-hmm. And so it made me just focus on building that lever And sure enough, that's the thing people bought into. And obviously over time, kind of to your point, the other levers start to grow, right? And so now I have some track record. Now it's easier, easier in quotes on the next project, easier for you with your next project, right? Mm Because you have some cred, but it was really this, this weird exercise of like, I just need to be honest with who I am and here we go. And, you know, things come out of it that you, that, but I don't, I didn't expect around Oh, these are some levers I, I, you know, I didn't know necessarily know I had. I went to school for civil engineering as an example. Turns out, mm. being an engineer in real estate development is really actually pretty key as it relates to you not being able to get screwed by some engineers mm. who, you know, like to like to use words that I'm they don't think I understand, but it turns <laughs> out I do. And I just say this as a point of reference where we ourselves, before we decide to embark on something crazy, like for you, maybe here with the book or whatever, there are things that you've done in your lifetime that you've written off as like, I'll never use that again. And those things actually end up surprising, at least me, and being some levers for future growth. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. 
We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.